Brethren, from henceforward, pray ye for us that the word of God run and be clarified as it is with you, and that we be delivered from noxious and evil men, for faith is not of all men, but the Lord is true that shall confirm you and shall keep us from evil. And brethren, we trust of you in the Lord, for whatever things we command to you, both ye do and shall do. And the Lord address your hearts in the charity of God, in the patience of Christ. But brethren, we announce to you, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw you from each brother that wandereth out of order, and not after the teaching that they received of us. For ye yourselves know how it behooveth to pursue us, for we are not unpeaceable among you, neither without your own travail. We ate bread of any man, but in travail and weariness, wrought night and day, that we grieved none of you, not as we had not power, but that we should give ourselves and sample to you to pursue us. For also, when we were among you, we announced this thing to you, that if any man will not work, neither eat he. For we have heard that some among you go unrestfully, and nothing work but do curiously. But we announce to them that be such men, and beseech in the Lord Jesus Christ that they work with silence and eat their own bread. But do not ye, brethren, farewell doing, that if any man obey not to our word by epistle, mark ye him, and communion not with him, that he be ashamed. Do not ye guess him as an enemy, and do not ye guess him as an enemy, but reprove ye him as a brother, and God himself of peace give to you everlasting peace in all place. The Lord be with you all. My salutation by the hand of Paul, which sign in each epistle I write thus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.